Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. Here is everything that I got. Let's get started. Let me share with you what we got this week. So for starters, I just got this frozen uh, roasted corn. I grabbed this because we're gonna be doing chili this week and I like to throw this in the crock pot with the chili. It's really good. And then over here, we're gonna be doing an easy dinner uh, this week, chicken Caesar salad. This is my favorite pairing. So we grabbed the organic uh, grilled chicken breast, really easy, already done. You just throw it in there. I grabbed the organic romaine lettuce, and then this is the dressing, the vegan Caesar dressing, really good. And then if you pair it with those uh, croutons that just came out, I already have some in the pantry, so I didn't have to buy any. Uh, but yeah, really easy lunch or dinner idea. So we grabbed that. I needed some bacon this week, so this is the one that I like to grab. This is the no sugar dry rubbed uncured bacon, really good. Over here, I grabbed this for uh, Brent's lunch. He has had this before and he really likes this one. So this one is the chicken burritos. It has chicken leg meat with beans, tomatoes, and onions, and it comes with two of them in here. So I grabbed that for Brent. We needed some cheese, so I grabbed the unexpected cheddar cheese over here. So we grabbed some tots over here. These ones are so good, the Trader Joe's potato tots. I grabbed this for my lunch today because I am starving. I grabbed the classic Greek salad. It comes with feta cheese, uh, pitted Kamala olives, and red wine vinaigrette. This one's really good, I love Greek salad. Uh, we needed some salsa, so I grabbed the hot pico de gallo this time. And then the raspberry kringle is back in stock. These are so good, and raspberry is one of my favorite flavors. Uh, so yeah, grab that where I'm gonna be going to a birthday brunch this weekend so I thought this would be perfect to bring with me and it feeds a lot of people too it's really big and you can also put it in the freezer if you're not gonna eat it all in one day uh, so yeah I've done that before as well too and then over here I grabbed some of the butter croissants I just love croissants uh, so yeah I'll be doing this for lunch next week I mean they probably do a chicken salad or an egg salad and then put that on the croissants just love that and then I grabbed these. These are the avocado um, guacamoles to go. It comes with six of them in here. I normally buy a big thing of this at Sam's Club, uh, but we're completely out and I'm not going to Sam's Club until April, so we have one more week. And Tristan has to have guacamole, like he dips it in everything. So I grabbed this just to hold us over for one week. It comes with six of them in here. Uh, but here are the ingredients. Really good, all clean. So I'm sure they'll taste the same as the Sam's Club one. Grab that. And then over here, these are both back in stock. I absolutely love this. This is the grapefruit scented candle. This is one of my favorite ones. So excited, it's perfect for springtime. And then over here is an item that I did not get my hands on last year. It was brand new last year and they were out of stock really quick because everyone was buying them up. And that is the grapefruit body butter. Uh, but they finally have it back in stock for the season. So I'm excited that I finally get to try this. I guess it's like a dupe for something else. I don't remember, um, but I'm excited to give it a try. Um, and I love the grapefruit candle, so I'm sure that this one's gonna smell just as good. And then over here, like I said, we're gonna be going to a birthday brunch this weekend. So I grabbed a few other things for the brunch. So I grabbed green seedless grapes, and I'm gonna be doing like boozy grapes. I found this recipe. I haven't tried it yet, but that's what this bottle of Prosecco's for. So I grabbed one bottle of Prosecco, and you pour it over the grapes. You add a little bit of vodka to that as well. You soak it overnight, and then you drain it, and then you roll the grapes in sugar afterwards. I'm sure this is gonna be really good, and I thought that would be a perfect little treat treat to bring for the birthday brunch. It's my friend's birthday. Uh, so yeah, should be good. And then I also grabbed stuff for mimosas to bring with me. I grabbed the orange peach mango juice and then I just grabbed two bottles of this. This one is just the sparkling wine. I have had this one before. It's pretty good, especially if you're just mixing it with orange juice. We have a brand new item over here. This is the organic Italian artisan pasta. Oh gosh, how is, do you pronounce this one? Cascatelli, is that how you pronounce that? I'm not sure, but this is the shape of the noodles. Pretty interesting, I've never seen a shape like that, so I'm sure those will be really good. Um, and then over here is the new item that I am most excited about, as you can see, because I bought two bottles, because I know that I'm just gonna love this. And that is the ranch seasoning blend. Isn't this perfect? Oh my gosh, so you sprinkle, you can either sprinkle it on popcorn, vegetables, or use in recipes. 
and you can also make your own ranch with this too. Here is the instructions for that. So you just need some buttermilk, mayonnaise, sour cream, and then you use the seasoning. And if you don't have buttermilk, which I never do because I don't use it for anything, you just add vinegar to regular milk. You let it sit and it makes buttermilk. That's what I do anyway. So this is so perfect. I cannot wait to use this. Really excited about this one. So I grabbed two bottles of that. And then over here is an item that's finally back in stock. This has been gone for a while and Tristan absolutely loves these cookies. So I was so excited to finally see them back. These are the soft baked sunflower butter cookies with roasted sunflower seeds. So they're completely allergy friendly. They're vegan, they're gluten free and obviously peanut free as well too because they're using sunflower butter instead of the peanut butter. So, so excited. Tristan's gonna be really excited to see those. And then I grabbed ingredients for another drink that I'm gonna be making. So for this next drink, you use pineapple juice. So I grabbed the pineapple juice. It comes with four cans in here. You need agave syrup. Um, I didn't have any. So this is the one that I grabbed, the organic blue agave syrup. And you use some coconut milk. So I grabbed one can of that as well as some lime juice. So I grabbed some limes and then tequila. You muddle that all together and it should be good. It sounds like it's gonna be really good. So I can't wait to make those little drinks for us. And then Tristan ate all of those oat chocolate bars if you saw our taste test uh, video last week. He loved them. So I grabbed him one more box. It's gonna be spring break next week. Uh, so yeah, grabbed him some more of those. He loved them. And then I also grabbed some more of this magnificent sauce. We really like this one. I like this one better than the one that just came out a couple of, what was it, last month, I think? Yeah, I like this one better. Um, so yeah, I grabbed this to put over the tater tots. We'll probably do, you know, kind of like an animal style tot with the grilled onions, cheese, and then this sauce over it. Oh, it's just so good. Love it. And then like I said, Earlier, we're gonna be doing chili, so I grabbed one can of the kidney beans as well as some um, beef bone broth. Those are the only two ingredients that I needed for that chili. And then last but not least, I grabbed Tristan, his absolute favorite cereal ever. That is the crunchy almond butter puff cereal. He loves this stuff, so I was happy to see that they had it because it's perfect for his spring break. He can munch on that all week long. So yeah, guys, that's everything that I had this week. There was only two new items, so I don't think we'll be doing a taste test video. Um, but I am really curious about this ranch seasoning. So next week, if there's more new items, I'll add this into next week's taste test video so you guys can see what we think of it. Or I might just do like a little video just like during the week showing you guys this because I am really curious to see how this is gonna taste. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this week, you guys. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.